ready for the major? No! I said, are you ready for the Anna Major? Now against the Underlord, the Root Mechanic. Uh, but Ursa. You, your aura, yeah, Ursa's okay. I think Ursa's the best one. Let's find out how game one is going to play itself out. We're heading over to our commentary duo, Officer Action Slacks and AY2000. Oh. 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 Where do we go? Well, I'm here actually with Odie Pixel. He's the best play-by-play -play cast in the world. I've really looked forward to casting with him at the No! <laughs> Nobody takes my commentator duo. <laughs> Welcome to the game, ladies and gentlemen. Owen's out, Owie's in, and we can't wait to get to Team Spirit versus TNC. Mr. 2000, as they call you there in your, uh, your local... Hangouts, uh, what do you think about this draft? What do you think about these teams? Don't cheat, don't look at it and memorize it. Something's happening in the game already, though. So All right, right, let's go, go to see the it. game, let's go. But Underlord is already, of course, on the, uh, you know, leading in the last hits. Not having a very good time on the Snapfire as a very low HP. Gotta get into that Bramble again. You can't just walk into the Brambles like that, Owie. As we see, that this uh, match is still pretty even. Here we go, Mars trying to do the same thing, but does Mars have the same kind of kill ability as Puck? Absolutely. Goodbye, Grandma. Yeah, they just taunted too much, that's why. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think they're right. Very sad. As we see uh, Wraith King here, he's gonna take out one life and looking to set up for number two. Tim's trying to make his way in, but they are separate out. Those dangerous brambles coming in. Tim now has to run. We're gonna probably see a spear into the cogs. Biding time, biding time. Meanwhile, bottom lane, a little bit of some Pushka down underneath the tower. And uh, Dragonite actually gonna rotate in to save Grandmama. They rose in the puck as well. They need to get this kill. Uh oh. That is a big hit. Great jump in by your grandma right there. But here we go. Dragonite not gonna let him go. They get that big kill and maybe they'll get a little bit of more. Ancient Apparition a bit slow as the old man tries to shuffle his way out. Gonna have to cut through that tree. Excellent move there. With some LD casting right there. He cut through the tree, Owie. And wow. He'll die. Wowie. That's a good kill because they defended this bottom wagon. I think Spirit really wanted to get the tower with that wagon, but a quick rotation from TNC. Wow, Jesus. TNC is all over the place right now. Dragon Knight trying to make his way out. Great defensive spear, though, by the Mars as he TPs in with half health to protect his big carry. And here we go. Nice arena trying to get a little bit of something here. Pops that sticky. And Grandmama, he's going down. Sad tail. Because you don't expect them to put the ward on the shrine itself and they're like a bit harder to sentry. Okay, uh oh, there we go. Mortimer's Kiss is that magical damage early, but he's gonna go ahead and pop that little hoodie. He's gonna live for a bit, but it's not long enough in this Dragonite. Looks like he's going for more of a fighty build than a farmy build. I think this is the meta on Ursa. Ooh, oh, he, no. used, he used his jump, so he can't get out of arena. Oh, but he doesn't have to go over the arena. He can just run straight at the Mars where he's at right now, but a little bit of damage there, and he will be taken out. As soon as that comes out, the Dream Coil not used to the great effect. They're ready for the counter play. Toronto Tokyo, he's in again onto Tim's. He's got him in the arena. Yatora coming into the ball with the Ray Five Blast. That's going to be Tim's gone. Armel's trying to get over towards the back lines, but they've caught him. They've controlled him. He's trying to get away. Backups coming in from Bot Bot, committed with the BKB. Gabby straight for the back lines. He's in over the mirror. They've taken down the Willow. Diffuse will slow down on him. And Poshka, he'll be able to pick up the A as well. If Gabby kills off the squishies at the back lines. They're looking for Toronto, Tokyo. Can they get the big one? They're in with the silence. Gabby, he's in on top of him. There's no escape for the Mars. It's another kill here for Gabby. Triple kill for the bear. And look at this speed from TNC. Immediately up to the top half of the map. They're ready to go again in Yatoro. They've found him on his own up top. Gabby and Bok, they go for the Ray King. They've got to get some help in here. But there's Tim's hook shot in place. He's going to stop Yatoro from being able to get back towards the safety of his base. Collapse. Coming in from the side, trying to help turn things around. Ice Blast coming crashing over towards them, but Gabby's able to back off in time. The Ice Blast won't catch him. Tim's, it will get left behind. He's caught by the root. Gabby, he wants to fight back. He's going back in onto Collapse. Collapse pushed out to the side. He's trying to hide into the trees. Turns around with the pit. He's got the lockdown onto Bok. Team Spirit, can they, do they have the damage for this DK? They don't at all. Bok's more than fine. He can walk it off. Just four versus five. And all they do, collapse. He steps in the road with the gas. Gotta be collapsed. Gone. Mira's gotta run away, but Tim's. He's in with a hook shot. Armel gets the dream core down. They've caught the two of them. As Mira and Yutora are trapped. Box in with the BKB. Toronto Tokyo trying to turn with the arena. The ice blast comes down onto the puck. Armel's gone. Yutora. 
Being fully focused, they've taken him down once. Can Gabby do it a second time? BKB unavailable and enraged. It's unavailable for 20 seconds, but again, Tim's with the cogs pushing back Team Spirit, giving the space for Gabby to reset. It's going to be a big one here. Who's able to make the first jump? It's Gabby. Oh, and you son of a bitch, you're trying to take my cast on forcibly? Uh, how, oh, what kind of anime? What is this? <laughs> what kind of anime plot is this? I throw your pillow out and then you come in out of nowhere? You think you're cool, I Owen? Oh, my, my plan is foiled. I did, yeah, destroyed you, the power <laughs> to your venue. I was going to take this exciting game for myself. Oh, oh I saw a hooded man yeah. with a large pair of wire cutters behind the building. I didn't mention it. Who would have thought it'd be Odie Pixel? You just can't help yourself, can you, friend? I'll How get you next Are time. Are you still there? <laughs> I, I, I'm still here. Oh I, I'm just shocked by the insidious plot from this evil, evil man, just to kick us off. Jesus, Owen, you're Probably doing the world a favor, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you next get time, you meddling kids. Good luck with the game, boys. Love ya. Get See the ya. hell out of here. What a sick... That's how you cast the TI finals, man. You find something you don't like, you just go in and literally cut the power of the entire you did, place. You did throw his... Him. I did throw him. You did throw him. So oh my God. that was probably deserved. That haunted right, back pillow. to the game. Yeah. I really like Puck's build this game because because he has an Ursa carry. Ursa yeah. is very single target focus. You need more damage. Oh, one sec. Big fight. Oh, here we go. Dragon Knight moving in, pops that BKB instantly, and then Ursa's with a quick follow up. Looking to get as many kills as humanly possible. See that AA on the back line and making sure to get him out first. With that, now they'll be able to turn a little bit onto the Dragon Knight as he is trapped in this arena, in this pit. And whoo, they tore him up pretty good with that DK. And TNC on the other hand should be thinking of like, how can we stop them from stopping us? Oh, there you go. Talking about insta kill. And now the Ancient Apparition in some tasty places. But looks like Mars moving in on the back line, trying to stop that BKB. Great hook shot to stall that one out. And now Mars has to think about, do I get out of here? The pit, the arena, it's scary stuff. But there's Mr. Bears, and he's looking for his cub. Where's my baby? He tears him up. Oh no, the cheese popped on the backside. Now he's in some big trouble. Cookie gonna move him out. The four step, but it ain't enough. There goes the Aegis. He's got the high five ready. He's taunting his own teammate. What cruelty come forth as DK on the back line hit by that AA and he's gonna go down instantly. They were up in the last game versus VP and they threw, wait, up uh -oh. the This is a big boy smoke, double smoke into something. Gabby, he sees the Underlord, he wants him, but he's gonna get saved up. There's the arena, he gets him away. He's gonna pin him against the wall and you lose your Ursa. First thing, that is not what you want here. This is looking real rough for TNC. It is pull the E-break, E-turn that one and get the hell out of there. Moonwalk back to your fountain, boys. They're going more, they don't care, they have the, Orbit Destruction on Mars, the Desolator, and AC. So these towers Ooh. have zero armor. Puck moving in, trying to get what he can here. Mars getting attacked by the Black Dragon, putting out his last spear, and Clockwork saving the day, cutting him off, BK being and running straight at these boys. Wraith King's first life is out, looking like they want to get out of here. Clockwork seeing if he can force staff anybody out. He will die for his crimes. Every time something wrong is happening for them, he's cutting the waves, picking off crucial supports. Uh oh, here we go. Clockwork initiation there. Again, they want to take out these supports first. Ancient Apparition, he's going to get gone on immediately. Hit up with the kisses. Now it's time to go. They know that Willow cannot come back to this fight. AA could buy back, but if they can get just a little bit more, maybe one more kill, one more kill for Daddy. What the hell are you doing? I mean, you, you do, um, like, ultimate. Stuff, Can't so. wait for this guy to lose no, now, he I totally know 100%. There we go. Your Underlord is dead. He is simply a ghost flailing in the afterlife in between life and death in a horrible place. He sold his radiance and he sold his chances for winning. I will not regret this. Yeah, no, it, it's not. I feel like the strength. Oh, oh here we oh. go. Ursa Bear going on it. That's Mr. Bear taking him out. Look out here as they come back in. A nice buyback as they're going to try to initiate onto that bear on the back lines. Wraith King running straight at that Ursa. Meanwhile, the rest of the team now trying to catch up. We got BKB on that Black Dragon, and he's going to be putting down that stun. Oh, how in the hell did that guy die on the back lines? Puck is just cleaning house in the back. Now it's not looking good. Great spin coming out from Grandma as Pucky Sucky is moving in. The Black Dragon, the Wrath, they're, they want everything. Look out, Mr. Mars! In some serious trouble, BKB about to expire. Puck is just unstoppable right now. The dragon's back in! He's a ghost! 20 seconds till AA is back. You do have buyback. Oh, here we go, initiation, trying to get what he can, but the cookie comes out, the BKB! They can't afford to lose this! Not a fire coming out! 
and it's okay. No worries. Clockwork on the back line, taking out the big supports. That's what they need. Clockwork sacrificing himself yet again as those Mortimer kisses are starting to hit. Here we go. Puck looking for fun. And the... Uh oh, Dragonite a little bit too far in. He gets hit by the Nullifier. Goodbye, Dragon. Trying to find a good group, but it's a not so Gucci initiation. They're going to have to back up a little bit. They get the support. Aeon Disc is down. They have got to get this Dark Willow before she comes out of the Shadow Realm, and they are going to go straight onto that big boy. Put on that Ursa damage. That is looking pretty nice there. Puck in some trouble now herself. BKB committed by the Clockwork, still trying to separate things out, but now they've got to protect that Dragonite. Dragonite dies. This is a pretty much not good looking situation. Nice catapult out of nowhere. Dragonite moving in. The Dagoon takes out the Mars. Able to put up that arena despite being dead though, thanks to Raid King. And it's all up to Dragonite. There's the damage you've been looking for. The Black Dragon wakes as he takes out the entire team. No free rides home. Goodbye, Raid King, still alive and about to die. Oh, this kingdom will be kingless today. Good night, Irene. Oh shit, he's still alive for a bit. Okay, he's fine. That's the gatekeepers of TI. Us. <laughs> As we see, Black Dragon just abusing that ability to fly over cliffs there. And seeing if he can get initiation, Lincoln Spear is going to be popped. Uh, that is not the target that you want to spend all of those very valuable kill items on. Dark Willow out of position. Here you go, BKB. And that Dark Willow is dead. Going to hook to the ghost. Meanwhile, on the back end here, we're going to see this Ursa. Is Where is Ursa? I lost him. It doesn't matter. Wraith King's first. There he is. He's hungry. He takes a bite out of that guy. Oh no, Dark Willow moving in with the. Oh, they got one more hit! Ooh, doesn't make they it. They left the Wraith King though. They left the Wraith King, abandoned by his loyal subjects. That's the second life going out. And that is the ghost form right there. Only one Rax remaining top now. With Megas, with an Aegis, this is going to have to be a miracle fight. Oh boy, oh boy. Going straight on to that dragon, about 5,000 HP trying to tear through it here. Ursa going on that back line, going straight for that Underlord. Underlord is dead. Dragon is alive. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good stuff right there, ladies and germs. This is looking for, oh wait, Dragon? Still getting hit, Mortimer's Kisses, giving the big boy smooches. Mars, ghost form, not able to do anything here, and that's gonna be a GG. Easy, not really, coming out from TNC. They're out of time, four seconds left only. Magnus. Into Venno. Mm. Like, line's okay, but you don't have enough damage. It's not the type of hero Clawswax needs. Oh, speaking of supports, Gank, and here we go. A cookie after a light strike array. And with that dragon sleep. Oh, it's barely enough. Last hit there. Phoenix is pissed, though. He's wondering where his playmate went from the top lane, and he's going to go in and clean up just a little bit. Howie, do you ever get anything wrong here? I'm actually wrong about, like, 80% of the things I say. I think. <laughs> but no, these ones are, like, they're classic club matchups. The Venno versus Ursa. And... The Snapfire dying was actually pretty good for Armaho because he gets the bottle refill. As we see these bottle refills. A good D ward from Boomy here. He understands Ooh. that they have a Magnus lineup. He knows Phoenix has been gone for a while. So he scouts out the stacks, D wards the wards, and... Big. Oh, barely misses that Light Striker array there. And Boomy, last chance to do anything. He's going to cookie on in, and this Assassin rotates in as well. Not too shabby at all there. Slowly killing you with his tiny little claws. Uh, tower goes down bottom. You kick the enemy carry out. I think TNT have a good read on how they want to play the map. You kick the carry out, you kick the spoiler, you take the tower. Everybody top seeing if they can't get a tower. Nyx Assassin scouting out though. Look out Mr. Magnus, that's a bug. Oof. Okay, forget it. You ain't gotta look out that much. Ursa moving in. Magnus going on. And that is the target that they really wanted. That beautiful Lina. Snapfire trying to make something happen here with the kisses and uh, Dragonite getting a nice stun. But will it be enough? Probably not. Just uh, the Elder Dragon form DOT ticking him down. And man, that, that's a costly one. Oh, there we go. Initiation onto the line as well. Nobody's there to defend. But there's a beautiful RP. Holy guacamole. This guy's just got served up on a platter. Beautiful buffet of heroes here as they move in now. That is going to be a percentage-based magical attack on DK. One of the worst things that could happen to you on a DK. He's going to go for the stun. He's going to go for the run. But will they be able to grab him? Mr. Horn's getting ready. He's going to have a shocking answer. 
trying to get that tier two tower. Looks like they are looking to respond in full force here. Dragonite blinking in with the stun, followed up by a Light Strike Array. Look at all these stuns just combined on each other, but yet again, that Glimmer Cape from Magnus doing such work for his boys. Oh, this Magnus is everything you could ever ask for. Initiation, saves, sacrifice. What more can be done? 10 seconds left, that's a field here, bad. They have, they have full vision with this ward here. Oh, There's okay. egg. Oh, the egg is gonna be able to stop them for a little bit. Mortimer's Kiss is coming in. Will it be a snatch? No. The Aegis goes to the bear, and the Mortimer's Kiss is gonna rip him up there. Nice job, another fantastic grab by your Magnus. And Owie, this is just looking like Disaster City. Nyx Assassin's dead too. Yeah, really, really good ward from uh, Team Spirit. Letting those perfectly plan out that fight. They could see everything. Whee! As soon as TNC were like, so, oh, Venom. Venom Answer also in a little bit of trouble. Those disgusting, hideous wards will be put down and laid to rest to watch their father die. Lion has a Blink Dagger as well. They have three Blinks on uh, Team Spirit, and they're getting close to a Refresher. Not if he dies here. I'm trying to get a little bit of a pick here, and there's going to be the Egg. We need to slow that down, but a pop of BKB, and that's an easy omelet. Mix Assassin might get picked up as well here. That Cold Stab doing some serious work. Wow, that was pretty impressive stuff. And could we get even more? Ursa now looking for Dragonite. This game might be a quickie. There's a beautiful RP to grab that DK. Snapfire trying to say, get away from my baby. She's gonna give him a cookie if he has any chance of getting out of here. No cookie, no hope. Bok is down, and this is just disaster after disaster. A very hard thing to do. Lion blinking ahead, and Ursa, everyone's just so separated right here. Lion missing the stun, thank goodness. The uh, ultimate is gonna go out from the Vandalmancer. Pops a BKB, but there's just no follow-up to that ultimate so far. Phoenix, even if he dies, not the worst thing to happen in that fight, and they might just turn it around now. Magnus going back in. He's got, ooh, but he doesn't make it. The force staff, there we go. Nice job, Caddy, Clizzy, and goodbye, my little friends. Maybe. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, bottom lane. Yeah, he has BKB, but you're just getting instant stun from Lion here. Mm -hmm. Oh, not enough damage yet. To Nyx Assassin? Taking the bullet? Kind of? Oh, no. Oh dear, oh my. Nyx literally did nothing, he just died. That was, a, that was a savior buddy syndrome, but honestly, good play from... I think Lion, they already had a sentry there, or he dropped it. Oh wow, nice moves from the Ursa, and Lion just making these plays, helping out as much as he can. No Dragon Knight walking the wrong direction. Invoker, here we go, DK's gonna jump on him, but I don't think he knows what lay in the trees. They're pretty spread out though. Phoenix Egg coming out. Look at that. Sunray just doing beautiful stuff in that egg, healing up Miposhka as he grabs a beautiful Venomancer. What a prize. BKB used up by the DK. And they're just going to back up again. Nice reserve. Double damage on the Lina, though. Okay, we got a kill here. Okay, there we go. That's not great. So is 99% of the damage. Everybody else is just there to distract until he cuts. Oh no! That was a blind jump uphill and he found the right target. That is a Lena dead. No buyback, no hope. Looks like the TNC. Here we go. Drop everything you have on the bear. You only have a couple seconds now. The sun rays coming in, trying to just burn everybody that it can. Oh, and Venomancer goes down again. Oof. Yeah, no buyback on either of these TNC cores. Oof. Goodbye, the cookie. Well, this is a disaster. Not a lot they can do here. Okay, Phoenix dives and kills. So, quarantined up. Unable to go to any birthday parties. Nyx Assassin initiating on that illusion. And that is gonna be a horrific turnaround here. As BKBs are popped. And, oh, RP onto a solo snap fire. Not the coolest thing in the world, but a lot of utility. As Ursa is still just hunting for anything that he can. Lion, great stun, nice force. But the uphill lion, he doesn't give a hoot, dude. He just goes straight up there. I like it. BKB coming up here. Refresh. Could we see another RP? Trying to find that Lena. We're going to get the Lena. We're going to get the Dragon Knight. That right there is the Venn Diablam. Buy back on Lena, she has a dream. Let's see if it will become a reality or if it will continue to be the horrifying nightmare 
that she has been living the entire game. Nope, that's Nightmare. Goodbye. Oh no, not that sad tornado end. She's alive, Allie. She is. The throne's dead, though. Alive just in time to call GG. 